Section 9.3, example 4. So we'll end with one final hypothesis test. So the average time, ooh, we're in mean land. I see the word average already. These are things I just want to think about right away so I don't mix and match formulas. The average time for a person to get over a cold is about six days. So that sounds like a claim value to me. And then this medicine, Zycam, is a product that claims it can shorten the duration of a cold. So we'll randomly sample 24 cold sufferers, um, give them the product at the onset of their cold, and then see how long it takes for them to get over the cold. And then we have the results in the table below. And then I'm so nice that I already calculated S bar and X for you. So we don't have to do one bar stat. We know that X bar is 4.2542 and S is 0.76895. But if you did one bar stat, that's what you would get. So let's comment on the requirements. So my sample size is 24. So it's not quite 430, but it is at least 15. So that means we need not severely skewed. Um, is this box plot severely skewed? No. So you could enter this data into StatCrunch and have StatCrunch make the box plot for you, right? Severely skewed, maybe one side would be really long. So since um, N is at least 15 and the box plot is not severely skewed, the requirements are met. So if you don't have 30, but you do have at least 15, um, the graph can be a good way to check for severely skewed or not. So let's go ahead and do a hypothesis test. So does the data provide enough evidence at 1%? So we're getting a, we, we're lowering the risk on this one. So alpha will be 0.01 to show that the true mean, we're in average land, recovery time is shorter than normal. So we will use mu because we're in mean land. Shorter means less than and normal was six. So the claim is that it takes six days to get over a cold, and then H1 is we want to prove that it's shorter or less than six. And then we'll just quickly state alpha is 0.01. All right, so let's find the test statistic. Since we're in mainland, we're using T equals X bar minus mu zero over root N. So X bar was 4.2542, that was from the sample. Six is my claim. All over S, if you look up above, is 0.76895. All over square root of 24. Add those parentheses and calculate. So parentheses around the top divided by parentheses around the bottom. And then don't be shy to send me an email if you're struggling with the calculator. I get negative 11.122. So I'm pretty sure this is way lower. The z-score is, the t-score is way beyond two, but again, we're gonna assess the risk. So we're gonna draw the curve. Negative 11, right, is really, really far. We can't even draw it, so we'll just pretend it's right there. We're doing a less than, so I'll shade to the left. And degrees of freedom, because it's a T-curve, would be 24 minus 1, or 23. So my P-value will be T-CDF, because we're using T-scores. Lower is negative infinity. Upper is negative 11.122. And degrees of freedom is 23. Go ahead and type that. You get a funny-looking number. Four point nine five six. it doesn't matter, e to the negative 11. So this is like 11 decimal places. So to four decimal places, it's zero, zero, zero. Very, very, very little risk. Um, our cutoff was only 0 0.01 here, but this is way less than 0 0.01. So the cutoff is not always 0.5, that's just a common one. Um, very, very little risk. If the cold was the same on Zycam, it's very, very unlikely that our sample would be this low. So because it's so unlikely, we're going to go ahead and reject. 
HO. We're rejecting that the mean equals 6, so it must be less than 6. So there's strong evidence to show that a cold is shorter on Zycam. And then I'm going to add at 1%. And that's hypothesis testing. So I think by this example, you might not still feel great, but you might feel better. I think the pattern is repetitive. Um, it's just being really organized, right? We have a setup, an introduction. Um, we have an investigative stage where we actually look at the sample, and then we make conclusions. So it's a really standard order for really any class you take. Um, yeah, and that's hypothesis testing. And when we get into chapter 10 and 11, we'll actually continue with hypothesis tests, just other types of data that we haven't seen before.